guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. The back button in Windows Phone 7 series will do different things in different scenarios. And a lot of people have been confused by this because it's a little unconventional, but let me explain how it works and I'll demonstrate it here. If you are in the first screen of an application, pressing the back button will go to the previous application. Pressing the back button again will go to the application before that. If you are in the second or third screen, of an application, the back button will step you back within the same application. Let me give you an example. So we'll go into the calendar application. And here I am in the calendar application. And if I press the back button now, watch what happens. I am taken to the recent application I was in, which was people. I was messing around with the emulator a few minutes ago. If I press the back button again, I am put back to the start screen. That's where I ended up. If I press it again, nothing happens because I started on the start screen. But if I go back into another application, let's, let's go back into people. And this time I'm going to drill into one of these items. So now I am within the application. And if I press the back button, I will be taken to the previous screen within this application rather than the previous application. But now since we're in the first screen, if I press the back button again, remember we're in the first screen, we are going to go back to the previous screen or the previous application that we were in. So hopefully you understand what that does. Remember, if you're in the first screen, it goes to the previous application. If you're in the second or third screen, it just jumps back a previous screen. It actually makes a lot of sense and helps you to move around the device pretty fast. Just a quick explanation. That's it for now.